Hey everybody, it's Christopher Neyman. Let's go back to some old school. I'm going to be using my brother ULT 2003D embroidery and sewing machine. This machine kind of reminds me, I don't know how to explain it, but it, well, okay, so a lot of you have gotten the brother SC1900. Now, if you look at the 1900, the way it's set up, the, the chassis and everything, it's very much like the Brother ULT, except for the ULT has the large color touch screen the whole, on the whole side. Um, it does a larger hoop. But the way it feeds and everything is very much like the SC1900. And the two things they both have in common, they do not cut jump threads. So, if you're looking for... A, mach a modern machine that cuts jump threads, it's not the SC1900. You want to go to like the NQ, what is it, the 1800, 1900 now, cuts jump threads and it does a 6x10 hoop. Anyway, what I want to tell you is for a lot of you that don't want to spend that kind of money, go and look at the older machines like this ULT because they're still good. They, you know, sit down and test drive it. As long as that, as long as that screen lights up and embroiders beautiful on your test drive, you're going to do good. So, I'm going to do a kitchen towel, and I'm going to just show you in my brilliance how I'm going to create my own quick design. Nothing fancy, just one monotone, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So, in brilliance is the software that I'm using, and. Again, if, if you all have any questions about Embrilliance, go to Embrilliance.com and write Brian and ask him. He'll help you because this is his program, his software. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Now, some of you who are experts on this may find better ways of doing than way I, what I'm doing. But I'm kind of self-taught and I watched a few videos on YouTube to pick up things here and there. But this is just how I'm doing it. So... Right now, I'm going to go to up here in this letter A. So I'm going to choose that. All right, so it comes out with ABC. Well, I want to write over here on the right, follow my arrow to the right. Over on the right side, I'm going to put baked. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, I don't like that script or that block. I want something a little bit fancier. So over here on the right, I'm going to click this. And I'm going to choose this DBJJ Magnolia. This was a design that I purchased online. These, uh, this font was one I purchased online from Juju, I think it was. I can't remember. Anyway, all right, so there it is. Now what I want to do is I want to tighten that up. So the space over here, I'm going to slide the slider to bring this closer together. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to make it smaller so it fits the frame. Then I'm going to bring it over. How am I bringing it over? I'm left-clicking on the design itself. So you can move it by left-clicking on, on the design itself. All right, so now I'm going to bring that there. Now I'm going to make this B bigger. And you see there's a little green dot on the B. Now for all of you that are watching this on your cell phone, I highly suggest that if you're really looking for education and you really want to learn, Get yourself a big computer monitor so you can really see this stuff. I know a lot of you have got those little tablets with these little cell phones you're trying to watch all this on. You're asking a million questions. And you can't really hear me either because the sound quality on your device isn't that great. So get yourself a nice desktop or a nice laptop. Make sure you got your headphones on so you can really hear. Because I see a lot of questions being asked that I've already talked about in the video. So, no, guys, I'm not going to answer your questions when you already asked, when I already went through this stuff, all right? So, please, please, I'm giving you this for free. Pay attention and listen, okay? And, again, if you want anything else pertaining to any products that I'm using, go to those companies' websites and talk to them directly. I don't get paid to do this, and I'm not selling any of this, okay? Please respect that. I'm helping you guys, so you got to do a little help for yourself, okay? All right, with that said, here, I'm going to touch this little green box on the B. And then I'm, while I'm holding with my left button on my, on my mouse, I'm moving it out. You see that? Then I'm going to make this bigger by dragging it. Then I'm going to hold that in the center and move it. 
and I can see that I made it a little bit too big from outside the box I'm going to slide it you see that okay now do I like that well let's move it away all right now let's click these let's click this let's see what I can do here can I do anything here yes I can so I'm gonna make this smaller make that smaller bring my B back and make the B bigger there I like that what do you think that looks good right and then I'm going to click the arrow follow my arrow up here I'm going to click that A again and over here I'm going to type in with W-I-T-H and hit enter I'm going to slide down look at that's way big right okay slide that yeah, I don't know if I like that let's see I think I want to make the W a capital W there we go alright so let's slide this here and on the space the slider bar over here to the right and the bottom right space it so it gets smaller let's slant that baked with yeah that's nice now let's move the W out let's go up here move this higher let's go here baked with and let's make that a little smaller there we go baked with and then we're gonna do love so let's go over here on the top over here see follow my arrow up to the top click the A again and then type love capital L O V E enter let's move that down Let's make it smaller. Left click and hold it as I move. And I want to move this width and make that just a little smaller. There we go. All right, so the love, I want to bring that tighter. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Now left click and hold to move. And then see the little green box on the L I'm going to touch that touch that to move it and then I drag and make it bigger let's bring that over here and then let's bring all this here How's that look? Let's see. Let's go over here. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll accept that. That's good. All right, now I'm going to go up to the top left. It says File and Edit. I'm going to Edit. I'm going to do Select All, Edit, and then I'm going to Group. Now you can see all the colors on the right. It's just changing to one color. So now I can move this whole thing wherever I want. Now, I made one earlier. Let me look here. See that one and that one. Which one do I like better? Hmm. Well, let's change the colors here. Let's change the color here. We're going to make one color. Let's see. I did silver earlier. Let's do the silver again just so I can compare. Okay. All right. Now let me do select all. Select all again, and then we're going to do sort. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. There we go. I highlighted it all and now that I think I'll save that one. All right, so let's use this one. Now I'm going to go to file, save stitch file as, and I'm in my floppy disk drive here. So now I'm going to choose, I'm going to save this as a PES file. I'm going to name it number nine. Save. Okay, this Brother ULT takes floppy drives, it takes floppy disks, and Brother cards. So if I wanted to maybe save this onto a blank card, I could use a PED basic transfer box. I think you can still find those online to get it. And then you save it to the card with the software that comes with it. And then you plug the card inside the machine. Well, I've got an external floppy drive that I'm using to transfer to the floppy drive. And then I take the floppy drive out. I'm going to put that in the machine and I'm going to work from the floppy drive. So, let's go over to the machine now. Alright everybody, so this is the 2003 Disney version, uh, ULT 2003 Disney version, as you can see here. Disney, you see a big beautiful touch screen. And I'm using a 5x7 hoop, that was what I edited with my design that I created, I showed you. And like I said, you can still find these machines out there. This machine is so well built. It, the only thing like I said, it doesn't cut jump threads. You, you have to cut all the jump threads. But it's got so many great features. I mean, it takes a 6x10 hoop. Uh, it's got endless border hoop. Look at this. See, it's basically set up almost like the new ones today. The new ones are just like lifted in the kind of angle a little bit. But I've got my thread stands behind me, my thread stand behind me. I'm using like a beige colored thread coming down and feeding into that. So let me show you what I'm going to do on the computer screen. All right, so I selected, up here I selected Embroidery Edit. And then with Embroidery Edit, here's your floppy drive. Now this is what, what the floppy drive looks like, the floppy disk that is. And you can buy floppy drives that connect to your USB on your computer. And you save to here. Then it goes into the side of the machine. Now remember, this machine is old. This is before USB. It does have the embroidery cards that are pre-loaded for you. Um, I'm going to select the floppy. You've got to wait a while. It's retreating. It's a little slow technology, but the guts of this machine are fabulous. Guts of this machine are still working great. So I'm just waiting for the pattern to retrieve. You've got to be patient for this. I've seen these uh, machines go for about four or five hundred bucks, guys. So if you're looking for a bigger embroidery, more you know, more options, this is really a good choice to go with. Okay, it's still retrieving the pattern. Wait a moment. Sometimes you gotta wait a while. There it is. All right, so now let's go to my the one I the design that I created, and there it is, baked with love. All right, then I'm going to choose set because I don't have to do any editing on here. I don't have to do any editing at all. And then we do, and you can see it's all one color, the silver. See. And let's see here. I'm going to click end and sewing. Okay, and it's telling me it's going to take 23 minutes. 23 minutes. There are there's 11,335 stitches and one color. It even tells you what foot to put on. You see that? tells you the foot to use. It's got a lot of information. Let's go and see what's inside our page here. So in the page here, you've got all these settings. you got a lot of great settings. Let me see if I can make my camera more angled here. you got a lot of great settings on this. 
your needle position whether you want to start in the up or down position or if you want to control your speed here you can control your speed you control the width of the needle with this with the speed dial on the front of your sewing machine I don't do that um, you got other you can set up the way you want your embroidery to look on the screen and then well, I want to show you some here this this uh, stitches at let's see where's it at here let's see there it is this stitches at 800 stitches per minute that's the fastest this machine will go and you want to know something guys 800 stitches per minute is really good it really is okay thread color I'm going to put on let's go to the next pages you can change the color of the thread or the background that is background of the screen you got the buzzer on lamp on let's see what else there's your colors all your different colors so embroidery tension there's a lot of stuff on here that's you know you can overwrite I mean it's prehistoric but there's still a lot of good stuff on here alright let's start embroidering alright so this has a slide in hoop and then you squeeze this to release it and pull the hoop out what I like about this is none of those nail heads you have to push down on it slides right in that was a that's a nice feature all right then I've got uh, sulky totally stable on the back of the towel I've got a layer floating underneath the hoop of tearaway stabilizer and then on top I've got water soluble stabilizer it's pinned on top so the reason why we use water soluble stabilizer is so when you're embroidering your thread will not get lost in the nap of the towel okay so I just put my foot down it's already threaded and let's go I'm gonna stop that in a second because I want to go back to my main screen all right and let's go and sometimes if you're sitting in front of this machine you can watch to catch the jump threads to cut them. And I'm going to stop. I don't think I like that thread. I think I'm going to change to something brighter. I don't have to start over because it doesn't, it didn't do its real satin stitching yet. It just did the underlaying. So let me hit my scissor cutter and I'm going to change the color of thread from this monotone. Uh, I'm going to put something else in. I'm going to, let me do a bright pink. show you something. See? I'll show you what it looks like in the hoop. I love this big touch screen. And I close. It takes me back to the main screen. This machine has a lot of stuff built into it. See? It's the ULT. The Disney ULT. 2003. And of course, I painted this cover. I, I wanted to give it my own feel so I used that texture paint and I painted it. Now one of the other things I want to tell you about these earlier brother machines, they take a class 66 bobbin. 
The class 66 bobbin is a lot thinner than the class 15. So and you can see they've got like a little ring around, indentation ring on the outside. But the class 16 is a lot shorter than, I mean the class 66 here is a lot shorter than the class 15 modern brother and baby lock machines and Janome. But brother was the only one back then with baby lock because I call, I say baby lock because all the brother machines, all the baby lock sewing and embroidery machines, the combination embroidery machines, were made by brother and they're still made by brother. So, and they're just sisters. They're basically they're sisters. The only thing that changes is the different type of included in designs like Disney designs are included with brother they're not included with baby lock when our dear Nancy Zeman was with us they baby lock used to incorporate Nancy Zeman embroidery designs so uh, that's the difference and another thing I want to tell you is as you can see when we were using this script soft the script design in our editing software uh, we're not getting a whole ton of jump threads so if you're going to be doing custom designs like this, try to do uh, lettering and stuff that doesn't require a lot of jump threads, and you'll save yourself a lot of time. So here you can see the difference in the bobbins. This is a class 66, and this is your class 15 and 15J for the modern machines. So you can see how much shorter, and you know, it's not as tall as a class 15. Never try to put a 15 into a class 66 machine. Alright? Okay. And it's done. How about that? So let me pull it out here. Squeeze and slide. Let's see. Lift up the foot. Where's the foot? There we go. Look at that stitch quality. Look at that. You see? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And because I used that script, I didn't have major jump thread cutting in between each letter. Isn't that nice? Let's see the back. There's the back. It's beautiful. Wow. So, to go over everything, we did the editing in the Embrilliance software. If you want to know about Embr more about Embrilliance, contact them directly. Now, other websites do, do sell Embrilliance, but you want to go to the Embrilliance.com website, and then if you have any questions, talk to them directly. They are the manufacturer, the creator of the software. Again, these older machines are great. They were built to last. Just make sure that you can see the screen and there is a setting, you go to settings and you can adjust the brightness of the screen right there so after you try to adjust the brightness, if it's still not bright enough, don't buy it see, you can, you can brighten this until it goes like that, see how bright that is? and then close and it's even brighter, there you go, see? So. If you turn the brightness up all the way and it's not really bright, you know, it's not going to be super bright like the modern screens, but you should be able to see it like this, okay? And if it's not, then don't buy this machine because that means the screen is going. Okay? Alright guys, that's a little tutorial on this. I hope this gives you a little more insight. This is for all you newbies that are looking for um, bigger hooping. And like I said, this also takes a 6x10. This also takes a 6x10. This is a 5x7 area. Okay. You can see on the screen here, it tells you the different sizes. There's your 6x10, there's your 5x7, there's your 4x4, and there's a little tiny one in there for doing bubby socks. Initials on your bubby socks. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. I hope what I'm showing you helps you understand more about the wonderful world of sewing and embroidery. Bonus tip. All right, so after you peeled off your water-soluble stabilizer, there's going to be some left. Here's an easy way of getting rid of it. 
Take some water in a spray bottle. Spray. Let it sit a second. I like to take a napkin. Lay the napkin over it. Peel. Look at that. Comes right off. See this right here? Watch. Press and then peel. And look, it comes right off. A little one up here. Press, peel. That came right off. See that right there? Watch. Press, peel. Comes right off. See that? Look at that. And that is the trick to getting the excess water soluble stabilizer off. Alright, take care everybody. Talk to you soon on my next, for my next video. Don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll be doing something fun and creative. And it might just be me showing you once in a while what I'm sewing. Alright, take care. Bye.